the pillar of clouds and the pillar of fire. Most of you remember the story in Exodus. He said, God led the Israelites with a pillar of clouds and a pillar of fire. First of all, we must understand cloud is made out of water. That is how clouds are formed. Fire is spirit. So when you look at the symbol yin and yang, you are looking at fire and water, male and female, as it was said in Genesis, when God decided to create man, they said, male and female created he, them, which means the son of God is both male and female within your essence. So when they say, let us make man in our own image as spirit, we are talking about male and female, androgyny. And so this symbol, you see two serpents, but the two are one body, 360 degree circle. They are not separated. Therefore, when you are told, unless a man is born of water and spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom because flesh gives birth to flesh and spirit gives birth to spirit. But when you listen to the story of Exodus, why did they say a pillar of fire or a pillar of cloud the pillar represents your spinal column it is this pillar that the spirit descend upon and is the same pillar the spirit rises from and so this water which is why we say mary means ocean Mary is impregnated by the spirit of the father. Thus she gives birth to the son of God. But not literally as the word has taken it or as the Catholic church has made you believe. We have all been born into this world. Because flesh gives birth to flesh. But we can also be born internally through the spinal column. This is supposed to be the inner teachings of the church. We are not meant to be praying and singing and dancing. And then wasting the Christos. The whole purpose of Christianity was to protect the Christos, guardians of the Christos, to use that as fuel to have direct communication with the Father. And so when you read Jeremiah, the ninth chapter, and the 24th verse, you are told, Let him that boast, boast in this, that he knows me and understand me. You cannot understand or know the Creator and still believes, 
still go around believing that he kills. Those who believe this type of stuff perhaps are blood tests. Those with real knowledge know that nobody saves you but yourself. When the physical body dies and is pushed into the fridge and is frozen, you will not be in it. The spirit will leave. So no one will bury you. They will put the donkey, your garment in the earth or perhaps burn it, but you will not be in it. That which belongs to the Father will go back to the Father. And so one must be aware of who they are and then live according to the divine law of creation if one wants a place with the Father. Otherwise, reincarnation or rebirth, in fact, reincarnation is not the right word because reincarnation really means one who comes back willingly to reincarnate. Rebirth is our portion. It means coming back all over, all over again. Again and again, because we have not got it right. But reincarnation is to choose to go down for a purpose. And so I'm going to make this the last of my podcast series. Since I have been speaking since 2017. And so if you do not hear from me, I hope you have learned a thing or two. From Facebook and this platform. So that you don't send me an email. Saying you have not heard from me for a while. I believe all the things that we have said is enough for anyone. To start contemplating. And so with this said. We shall see each other again on the other side of the curtain. I hope you enjoy your earthly experience. Peace.